A Stevens County mother who starved her adopted son to death will walk out of prison tomorrow, a free woman, after serving just half of her sentence. Tyler DeLeon died in 2005. On his seventh birthday, he weighed just 28 pounds. KXLY 4's Melissa Luck has followed this story for years, and there's another surprising, shocking twist even. Yeah, just when you think this case couldn't get any more strange, it does. This case has haunted those of us who have covered it and those of you who had followed along. According to state records, Tyler was literally starved to death. He drank dirty toilet water because he was denied fresh drinking water in his home. His adoptive mother was convicted only of criminal mistreatment, and tomorrow she walks out of prison a free woman. 72 months does not equal seven years of suffering. That's what I feel. Carol DeLeon's sentencing in 2007 drew the outrage of her community. People who never met seven-year-old Tyler were haunted by reports of abuse and a child starved to death. I'm so sorry that my little boy died. And I him terribly. But I know in my heart that God knows the truth. Carol DeLeon has never publicly taken responsibility for Tyler's death. She was sentenced to 72 months in prison for criminal mistreatment and ordered to serve her sentence at Pine Lodge in Medical Lake. While she was in prison, she lost all parental rights to her other children, and the state issued a scathing report showing systematic failures that allowed Tyler to slip through the cracks. Changes to state law were made in his name, and social workers were given new instructions about how to more quickly respond to reports of abuse so that Tyler would not have died in vain. Through her time in prison, De Leon has never responded to our letters asking for interviews. She denied another request today, so we're not sure what her plans are now that she's being released from Pine Lodge. Half of her sentence. It's unreal to me. Um, but it, there's a lawsuit also against the state in conjunction with this, wasn't there? Yeah, a couple of civil lawsuits actually came out of this case, one on behalf of Tyler's estate. That case was settled with the state uh, a couple of years ago. Um, the state was ordered to pay $6.8 million, though only 180000 of that will go to Tyler's estate. Another lawsuit is pending against Tyler's doctors. There are accusations that his doctors should have noticed the uh, signs of abuse, the broken bones, the bruises, the fact that this... Not thriving. The little That's boy weighed, weighed 28 pounds when he was 7 years old. My son's 14 months old. He weighs 24 pounds. The doctors did not report that to CPS. There is a lawsuit that is actually tied up in the Washington State Supreme Court right now. If you want to see our past coverage of Tyler's tragedy, learn a little bit more about this case, we have a special coverage section on our website, kxly.com.